Hey, what's up everybody? This will be an unboxing video of the Toys Era Lady Katana 1-6 scale collectible figure. Now, of course, we all know what this really is. This is Lady Deadpool. So I bought this from 1-6 kit and just came in the mail a little while ago. This is the first Toys Era figure that I've ever bought. It's a pretty cool little box. It's not textured. It's really thin. I don't even know if the Fison figures are this thin. They may be this thin. Well, it says one scale collectible figure TE010 down there on the bottom. And so we have like an artistic rendition of Lady Deadpool here. And on the back, we have it written in a couple of languages there. The warnings and notices, choking hazards, how to contact them, keep the package for future reference, trademarks, copyrights, etc., etc. So it's kind of like a shoe box style box. There's this side of it. Here's the bottom of it. And there's the top of it. Those are cool because it's kind of like a, you know, comic book art. You know, I like that. So we'll just see if we can't get this palm out of the box here. We have more comic book art here on this inside of the box that continues on. Here's actually some of the comic strips in the uh, Deadpool core storyline. And then it's silhouetted out of the Lady Deadpool there with a katana in her hand. and. You can see some of the other Deadpool core. You got dog pool down there and kid pool, head pool. Yeah, we'll take this off. All right, so we can, we get a rubber chicken. Well, it's not really a rubber chicken. It doesn't really move. So you can hang, hold it by the neck, I would imagine. Um, but it's shaped and it will hold its shape as such. That's a cool little prop gag there. That'll work. And it looks like they took a cue with the interchangeable eyes. Really cool. Because this is fashioned as the Hot Toys Deadpool is fashioned. And what have we here? A little finger right there. So we will look at that. And we have a couple of hands here. So that's definitely a pistol holding hand. And that's kind of a relaxed thinking posing hand right there. And we have a left um, pistol and a thumbs up, right there. A couple other little hands. And she really resembles the Hot Toys Deadpool a lot, or the Marvel Cinematic Universe Deadpool a lot. So they did a really good job of continuing on the Lady Deadpool. Well, hair is coming out of her there. I'm gonna have to trim those up a bit, I guess. Her hair feels really silky and soft. Like she's got a zipper in her back there. Now, the suit here is a pretty good match on the color, all right? But looking here on this arm, Looks like they kind of missed it up a little bit in regards to the coloring. So it's just the weathering. It's not as dirty there. That's all that is. And we can always make that dirtier. No doubt about that. But the suit, they did a pretty good job trying to match it up in regards to that. The, the, uh, the hard plastic pieces here and here and here, they're pretty much matched up well enough. And the suit, though, the, the material they use for the suit, the coloring, is, the coloring on it is close, close enough, in my opinion. It works. This is a little loose. It could probably be tightened down. Looks like it can, the strap might be able to be moved and uh, to tighten that up. And I suppose I'd rather it be a little loose than too tight. And that can be repositioned to different uh, areas, it looks like. Can't tell 
The nose is really, really, really super shiny, but it is painted. So is the ear, really reflecting the light. I'm wondering why it's so reflective there. There's the bottoms of her feet. Let's see if she's. Oh, so the, you know, it's funny. It looks like boots, but it, it's not. It's still shin guards and boots. That's cool. So you have ankle pivot. That's nice. Left to right, forward and back. Of course, there's no toe pivot because that's a solid boot. Um, but it's all properly proportioned. Her knee comes up really far. As soon as I bent that up, I see some material there where it was glued on. So... Yeah, as soon as I pull that down, it starts separating there. Look at that. So be careful there. Take into consideration before you pose her if this is what you really want to do. Because you might not be posing her much in that regards. Her best breasts are kind of squishy. And she's articulated at the waist a bit. So I can move her a little bit back and forth. And spread her thighs about that far before the suit feels like it doesn't want to spread anymore. And forward and back about like that before the suit feels like it doesn't want to spread anymore. And the suit wants to resist on the elbows, so it doesn't want to necessarily allow you to move it how you want to. And you know, that's anytime you have a suit like this, you're going to have that type of a, of a problem. So she's got two hands here that are rounded. Those would be the katana holding hands. And she stands pretty well. Let's see here. We have a base with Lady Katana etched into uh, metal. That's pretty cool. Shiny black on that side and textured black on these other sides. That's what the inside looks like. Here's where this comes from. Got a couple of guns there, a couple of um, grenades for Katana, and that's where the base sit, sat at. So this is how this works. Put it in here, and it stands at an angle, which is going to allow her to stand more onto the base. On, on these, you know, if you wanted to get the one that goes around her waist, you can swap these out. This just slides out like such, and then you can put in, you know, the one that goes around the waist, or you can keep the one in, in the crotch. However you want to have her held on with these. Uh, types of, of um, posing stance. The crotch ones are easy if you're taking your figure out on and off a lot or in and out of the, the display because you just lift them up and set them back down. Um, but the ones that go around the waist, especially for the females in my opinion, are you know the most attractive. So how I feel about that. That just sits like that. She's got two pistols here. And they kind of look like 1911s. I really don't know guns. Uh, let's see, it looks like a clip may come out of that. Yeah. With a little round in there. So we can just slide that right back up in there. And let's see if this will rack. Yeah. So that will slide back. So you can see the round in there. Pull that you can see in there. And then when you slide the round in, you can see the round in the chamber. Or, well, at the top of the clip, ready to be put into the chamber. To be fired. Right there. So, I'm going to put those in her 
the holsters. Yeah, the holster seems to hold it pretty well. Yeah, those hold well. Not gonna fall out that easily. And we have here the katana. And that is going to snap into a hole in the back of her outfit. I seen the little the little um, hole there where that's going to attach to that. can't tell if that's metal or not. I mean, it's got the shine and sheen of metal. But it, it kind of also feels pretty flimsy. So if it is metal, it's tin or aluminum. I think it's metal. Let's bang the two together. I think that's metal. Alright, so we're going to put him in like this. Because the scabbard is angled a little bit in this direction. And where these go, they snap into the back on that strap right there. It's like a, uh, it's, it's the same kind of snap that you'd see on the clothing and whatnot that they've used. There we go. Simple as that. And she comes with a couple of Deadpool grenades here. With a wink on them. And here's the interchangeable eyes. So that pose is kind of a, I don't know, a uh, thinking or disbelieving pose, I'd call that, those eyes. And come out pretty easy just pulling them out right there. That one did. Let's see if we can get this one out. Yeah, that came out pretty easy. Ooh, looks scary and creepy like that. So let's see here. And you can put any eyes in. Any right eye and any left eye. So you don't have to use specific eyes at the same time. But you do have to use a left and a right. There we go, left and right. So that's kind of, um, I don't know, just looking. Right there. And kind of half open, half closed. So I guess the first ones were the most closed. The second ones here were half open, half closed. And these last ones are wide open, right there. And the fact that they're falling out tells me that, oh, well, something there, tells me they're definitely not magnets. You just kind of halfway kind of hold in place. They don't even hold in place. Well, these guys don't want to hold in place. There we go. So there's your third set of eyes right there. And as you know, I was saying you could 
that just literally just fell out as I was lifting up. You can put in, you know, have her winking. Let's see, I need a gallon of milk, eggs, loaf of bread, broccoli. Did you just feel that? I felt a disturbance in the force. It's like something is amiss. Whoa. The, do you see what I see? Is that, I mean, the fashion sense is remarkable. Did she just wink at me? Is it possible that she sees me over here and... No. Come on. But then again, who wouldn't want to wink at me? Yeah, that's a wink. I see her winking at me. I think I'll go over and introduce myself. Make sure I got my head screwed on right, though. Don't want to make a complete fool of myself. I mean, look how attractive she is. I don't know what it is. I'm just completely drawn to her. Just come over and be cool and say hello. That's all I have to do. Just say hello. Pool Dead is named my Hi. Uh, look up, Pooley. Her eyes are up here. Hi, my name is Deadpool. I love your fashion sense. Would you be interested in taking a tour? Well, you are handsome, and I'm fully armed, so it might not be a bad idea. Let's go. She called me handsome. I think I'm in love. So thanks for watching, everyone. Leave your comments in the section below. Tell me what you think of this figure. Will you be adding it to your collection? Have you passed on this figure? Follow me on Facebook at Sarah.Emerald and Twitter at Sarah Emerald. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. Subscribe to me on Patreon. Every little bit helps. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That helps out a lot. Share this video with your friends. That helps out as well. Thanks to all my subscribers. I really appreciate every one of you. I am eternally grateful for every single one of you. To be a subscriber of mine, just simply click on the icon in the upper left-hand corner and click subscribe. And to see more videos that I've made, you'll find them on the right-hand side. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you on the next video. Happy collecting.